hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we will be creating this setup um, for a baby shower as you can see um, the colors will be listed in the description box but let's get started so the backdrop came from a local vendor along with the um, couch and these as you can see there's like the clear command hooks that was already on there and i was hesitant on using um them on the backdrop so i was like i'm gonna still just do the h method even though i've seen like others had used like the um clear hooks so i still did the h method and it, you guys know i probably could have just did all duct tape on here but i still did the blue tape because i just be want to be cautious i don't want to ruin anybody um backdrop so i still did the blue tape um, and I attach a cluster there and now I'm tying on another cluster. Now, you guys going to see in a second that my H method fell off. <laughs> so I just end up using those clear hooks as well. Um, that was already on the backdrop. I added like some extras, but I figured it was no problem since it was already used before. And I just went with that right there is when the tape came off i probably should have just used all duct tape um because i won't use it on the front area where the paint is at like the paint um but if it's on the back i don't mind using it of course um i that's when i added on the clear hook and i am reattaching it and i feel like these backdrops are always um, not hard to do, but because if you're not putting the um, attachment point on like the front of it um, and you put the attachment point on the back, it always pushes the garland to the back of the backdrop. And I try to put it on the front a lot, but this one I actually want it to come from behind the backdrop into the front of it. So I didn't mind too much, but that is something to remember when you do put those hooks on. Unless I guess if you use the clips, even the clips that I used before and it kind of push it to the back of it. But um, I'm adding on these clusters. My clusters are either eight balloons um, or two, um, eight balloons or six balloons. So they is back and forth. It all depends. Um, like that pink right there and that pink if you guys want to know right now it is what color oh well, it was the regular pink inside cameo so pink inside cameo and that is uh, a cluster eight and I attached another cluster eight and this is also a cluster eight with a 16 inch balloon inside or 18 inch depending on the brand and then that's a cluster of six and you guys know I attach all of my clusters uh, majority of them by the neck if I don't attach it by the neck it's because I'm I just having a hard time doing it um, yeah pretty much I just either my hands are giving up or the neck is not too long and it's just too much so I just grab a 260 but most of the time I do attach all my clusters neck to neck and here I'm adding on my quad of four balloons. You guys know I love to end the garland with a quad of four. What I've been doing lately, though, I don't do like quad, quad, quad or next to each other at the end. I do maybe a quad, then a cluster of six, quad, cluster of six. Um, because I find that when you do quad, two quads next to each other, it may... Um, it may put like a little space in between those two of course um so right now you see i'm adding on that cluster of six that's next to that quad already and something else i've been doing lately i don't add my rig points at the bottom until i finish adding on all my bottom and i use this 24 inch balloon which i haven't used in a while but i feel like it was going to take up a lot of space that i didn't have to worry about adding a bunch of clusters um, and I haven't been using them, so I'm like, let me just use it just because um, it's going to help right now. So as you can see right here, there's um, those two quads that was next to each other. That spacing is what I was referring to if you want to rewind really quickly. And I added another cluster up there just to fill in. And I'm adding in, I want. I think that was a quad I added in. It could have been a cluster of six, though. I, I think it was a cluster of six. So I'm tying that in right here. But in the front, you guys can see really quickly at the bottom, those two quads that's going to be next to each other is going to create some kind of space. So I think I like it better when I do a quad, then a cluster of six, then a quad again. That way it, you know, still makes sure everything looks full. And but you still get that pointy look and it looks like the garland is kind of coming to an end. I like it when it looks like it's, you know, it's done. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm adding on 
some more right here to fill it in. And these two, I believe that is a quad of four balloons that I am tying in. And as I mentioned, I haven't had added any great points. You see, I switched that quad. I added two to turn it to a six because that quad next to it and it was causing that spacing. And now I'm going to start adding my rate points at the bottom. And I'm just using one piece of tape. You can do the 4H method, but I am lazy, so I don't. <laughs> to be honest, that's exactly, that's only the reason why. Um, and I do know the duct tape hole pretty well. Yeah, so it also, most of the floors that I'll be working on is like laminate or wood. So um, it holds pretty well. And when I put the... 260 over i grab at least two uh balloons i've been one or two but lately i've been doing two for i don't know extra support i guess so i put it over two balloons as you can see so i went around adding all my rate points making sure nothing moving and then um sometimes you may need to retwist some things if you find that your balloons are not sitting together right um it may be because it's not twisted properly not even twisted properly but you may need to, like twist them around a little bit because the balloon's going to find its way to like nestle in each other so if you find that it looks a little awkward then you may may need to just you know twist it around and here it is. I'm adding on my five inches, but I'm not done yet. I still have to add on vinyl. Um, and I also have to add, I was going to do something on the other side. Now, my vision for this was I was going to do like it coming from behind on one side and on the other side, it's coming out. But because of the backdrop in this, um, the area, it was so, it's not that big of a backdrop to get that kind of vision I was looking for. When I try to do it, it just looked like a space was missing in the middle. So I ended up filling it in in the back. And and it was basically like the whole thing was like coming from around. You guys are going to see. Sometimes I'm not really good at explaining. <laughs> um, but this is the vinyl. I did do the vinyl myself. I have a Cricut machine. Um, I don't know a lot. So please don't <laughs> ask me a lot of questions about it. I use everything supplied by Cricut. I don't do no extra outside or, you know, other brands when it comes to like the the sticky sheet or whatever. Everything is by Cricut. I use everything by Cricut. So... And I'm just attaching it on and making sure I am going over the letters as I am removing. And I also um, reuse this, what is it called? Tape or something? Something tape, I forgot. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I reused it for the other part of the name, which was J. So um, the, the, I guess the, the, the baby to be, or what is it, baby? I don't know. The baby. <laughs> Uh, the baby name is going to be Al Alani J. So I used that same tape when I took it off Alani. Because you can reuse it a lot. If I could, I would have took it home, but I didn't feel like I threw it in the trash. And that is me for now. So you guys see, I was going to try to keep a space between those top balloons. And then have it coming out on the other end. So it looked like it went behind and then it came out. But because of the spacing of the backdrop... It just looked like it was something missing in the middle. So I end up adding another cluster next to the one I'm messing with now on that left side. I end up adding another one. Um, that way it kind of uh, closed it up. And it just looked like everything was attached. Because it wasn't going to give what I thought. Because of the area of the backdrop itself. Which was fine. It, I think it still came out beautiful. Um, the only thing I probably would have done different. Like that cluster of uh, paint. That cameo on the right side was a cluster of 6. I could have maybe did a cluster 8. Or maybe. Yeah I could have did a cluster 8. Or even added a quad on the left side of it. Um, you guys going to see a little later. Like it just. I don't know. I feel like I could have added a little more to make it a little bit more thick, but it still came out fine. Um, and what else I could have done differently? The sofa, the main photo, if you guys follow me on Instagram, Balloons by Lee 3, uh, the main photo, I feel like the sofa was a little bit too close to the balloons and it just all looked like too much together. You can see right here, I should have moved it over so you can see the bottom of the backdrop. And those are just what I think I should have done, but this is the overall look, you guys. This is how everything came out. The client had the teddy bear already, so I don't know where she bought it from. Um, she put that there herself, but this is the look. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the next video.